What's up everybody? I need to get my tripod here so I can go work on the inside, but it's been raining. I got a trailer full of stuff, so I had to throw some plywood over it because I got some concrete, stuff like that. I'm trying to work on the bathroom. Let's see how this goes. All right, so as you know, I need to put my toilet right here. Uh, the reason I'm doing this, I know a lot of people said put it over in this corner, this corner, stuff like that. I'm trying to keep the plumbing on this back wall right here, well, front of the house wall. Uh, I'll take you outside in a minute and show you what I'm talking about, why I want the plumbing as far this way as possible. But um, one of the things I'm falling into the problem of this is the studs that go across are right here and right here. And then I want the uh, uh, flange part, whatever you want to call this, somewhere in this area. Well, right here is where the big beam goes across. Uh, support on the bottom so I'm going to take this little paddle bit and I'm going to drill a hole right here and try to figure out exactly where I am I'm hoping I could uh, get lucky and make this fit right here without the toilet being too off, too far off the wall I don't have high hopes but let's see I don't think I can show you up close, but uh, I think I have a little bit of room. Alright, so I put the toilet on top of the flange where I want it, and it's far enough off the wall here. I'm probably going to move it just a hair more, just to give a little bit of room. Uh, again, this is not a lot of room, it's a tiny, tiny bathroom, but I got it far enough off the wall so when it's sitting flat, and I do my tile and everything, I'll have enough room. So I'm gonna take this off, and then I'm going to trace it so I can cut it out. And it looks like I cut that hole too far. So, Hopefully, I did hit that hole a little too far, so I'm going to see if I can get it right here, and uh, fingers crossed this works. Alright, I think we're still good, so I'm going to go around this hole with this bit, and then uh, I can fix it later with another. So, I got lucky with that hole. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the jackery to uh, use this saw or whatever to um, cut this hole out. I think the jackery will be fine. It's pretty uh, charged up, so I'm going to go ahead and clean this hole up. I just need to go a little bit wider for this part, so I'm going to do that real quick. Alright, it's not the prettiest hole, but it'll work. That's in there all the way, so I'm good with that. Alright, so I mounted the uh, flange on the bottom just to uh, dry fit it and everything, make sure it's good. And uh, that'll fit right there. Clearly, it needs to be bolted down so it's a little unstable. But uh, that's where it'll go right there. And then clearly, it's going to have to come up a little bit because I'm going to put cement, tile, all that stuff. But I just wanted to make sure it fit good. And it does. So now I'm gonna do the drain for the shower. As you can tell where this blue line is, is roughly where the shower is going to stop. So uh, it is 44, so 22 right here is the middle. 
there is a stud right here. So I'm gonna try to do it right on the side of the stud. So I'm gonna try to mark this the best I can. Good enough, I can kind of see it. And then drill again. That is right here, so it's gonna be a little bit. Come on. All right, I mean, it's right there on that line. I kind of lucked out on that one. All right, now we get the saw. See, I got the toilet drain and the shower drain in now. So now that uh, we got these drains in, I'm gonna use this to be basically a state or a. Uh, I'm gonna use this uh, two by four that I ripped, and um, it's going to be for the shower. So the tile will come to here, come up, and this will be the stop for the actual shower itself. Um, I was gonna do a whole wet bath. I decided against it. Now I'm going to install these blocks right here. Uh, they're not in or anything all the way around, but this is so when I put my liner in, it can come up and have something to uh, hold against. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this rubber uh, membrane down. I have never done this, hopefully. I don't screw it up too bad. So now I'm gonna mix up mortar to put on the bottom.
All right, so I got it pretty good. What I'm gonna do is take this sponge and a little bit of water and uh, try to level it out a little bit. All right, so it's not perfectly smooth. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit longer and then do that again with the sponge and water and it'll get pretty smooth and it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth, I don't think, because we're gonna put tile over it anyways and you kinda want it to have to be a, like, kinda want it to have to be a little porous and a little bit of grooves and stuff. That way the uh, mortar will go to it. You just don't want it like super crazy. But as of right now, I'm pretty good with the way it is. Uh, yes, I did cut this part out over here. This is going to be normal flooring, and this will be the only thing that's tile and uh, concrete and stuff. So I'm good with the way it is right now. All right, while this is drying, I cut some cement board, backer board, and I'm going to go ahead and install it against this wall. That way I know that down there, Everything is nice and good, and I don't care if the cement gets stuck to the cement board, because it's cement. Alright, so I got that one on. Now I need to drill a hole for the uh, plumbing to go through. So, I'm going to try to get that done. Out this battery dying. On my uh, drill charts over there, I cut this piece right here to uh, go ahead and put in here. That way I can hook my uh, cement board to that. Clearly I want to get the hose in it, but I did. And then I'm going to do the bottom one here as well. Now I'm going to try to uh, put this cement board in here. I'm just gonna run the pipe through, hopefully. There it goes. It'll go all the way down the ground for now. That way underneath I can cut whatever I need to do, but for now, I got my pipe in there. I can hook on it, I can come up, I'll be good. Now, since this PVC only came in five foot sections, I need to put a coupling and go up. Uh, if you're anything like me and you get these new cans, you can't open them. They're always like super tight. And I don't have anything other than this right now. So what I'm going to do is, instead of trying to hook it on here or whatever, just put the handles on it and then grab the handles and squeeze it as tight as you can. And it'll come off rather than trying to use your hands. So let's glue this up. All right, so get the primer, put it on there real good. We'll let that dry. Put the primer on this pipe. Put the primer on the end of this pipe. See if I can hold that steady. Let that dry. Then you're gonna get your glue and you're gonna put it on the inside of this, stick the pipe in. And the inside of here. Stick the pipe in. And then hold it. You want to let it uh, set, which that already set pretty good. So we're good. Now we're going to put glue on here and then slide it on. And then we'll cut it up here.
hold it on there real good. And then that'll dry, we'll be good. Today's been one of those days, it's late. I'm trying to just do what I can. And I jumped the gun on this, I gotta take it off. I didn't put insulation, so I gotta put insulation, put this back on, then insulate this, and then put the uh, cement board on this side, and then smooth that out. Then I'll probably call it a day because, oh my gosh, I can't think straight, so let's get to that. So it's the next day. It is a wreck in here. That's fine. I'm gonna go show you what it looks like in the shower once it's dried. Surprisingly, it looks pretty good. Uh, there is like one or two little spots that I think I'm gonna try to touch up. But other than that, I mean, I'm very pleased with how smooth it came out. Um, it still needs to dry. I'm gonna let it dry all day. Uh, it was overnight. I made it a little soupy. That way I could work with it real good. Gives me enough time to work with it. Uh, I made my mistakes while back using fast setting concrete uh, on some steps and I wasn't about to do that uh, in here. So I'm going to have to let this dry for a while. But I am very, very pleased with how it came out. Um, while this dries right now, I'm going to take you outside and show you why I need the plumbing on this back wall You'll see here in just a second. All right, so we're outside clearly the porch is right here And then the plumbing and stuff is gonna be right here um, This is the bathroom area and this is why I got to keep it on the outside wall There is hardly any space check it out up close. That's it guys. There is no space whatsoever The uh, toilet is actually right there and then the shower um, Drain is over here and then the plumbing's right there. I don't think you're gonna be able to see under there um, very good, but I'm gonna show you how much it sucks to dig. It's literally nothing but rock. This is what I have to deal with while digging out here for everyone that's new to the channel. It's nothing but rock. So I just wanted to point that out. There are a lot of new people, I think, over the last month. There's about 10,000 new subscribers. So to you guys, thanks so much for uh, subscribing. But I live on a hill that is nothing but rock. Literally everywhere is rock. There's no grass, no dirt nothing but rock so I want all my plumbing on the outside wall that way um, because this shed is so low to the ground I could have gone and lifted it up and stuff but I honestly wanted to do a challenge basically as is where it is no add-ons nothing so if any of you guys out there get a repo or you know a shed or anything or whatever it may be and it's super low to the ground you can still figure it out uh, I had to dig through all of this rock and um, I'm gonna still make it happen and I'm gonna show you guys that you can make it happen so this build's gonna suck and everything about it um, building you know around stuff that was already in there or whatever like the loft and all that where the bathroom is I just want to show you guys that if you want it bad enough you can get it
All right, so I got the toilet put in. Clearly it's not um, actually installed, but that's where it's gonna be. And then I put the uh, drain cap right there on top. That way you can kind of see what it's gonna be like. This will all be tile and stuff. And then we'll have the uh, square drain on there, which I think will look nice. Just trying to give you guys a good point of view of what it'll look like um, as I go on, go on, go on. Um, I honestly don't know at this point if I'm even going to put the sink in there. I, I don't want it to uh, be in the shower and I don't want it behind the toilet. And the only real place to do it is right here, which it'll work. It might stick out just a little bit, but once I start putting uh, the walls on and stuff, I will see because I can do all the plumbing in the back, so it's not a big deal. It's just a lot going on um, without a whole lot of knowledge. Uh, I'm just a random dude trying to build and I've never done anything like this before. So I'm just learning as we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it for this video. I know it probably didn't look like a whole lot of work. It was just very tedious. Um, working with concrete is scary. Uh, that is a very permanent situation. Uh, if you screw up, you just screwed up and uh, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to it. So hopefully this uh, video will show some of you guys that even if you are scared to do something, just try it anyways. Don't, uh, I wouldn't do like a huge bathroom build or anything like that. Um, that's why I don't mind doing it here in uh, the shed. It's a very, very small project. Worst case scenario, I could bust all this out, put an actual shower pan in there, uh, do all that. It'd be a little bit of wasted time and money, but to learn skills, uh, and especially new skills, uh, that could potentially, you know, use for a bigger house um, in the future, I was willing to take the uh, chance. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys learned something from it, whether it's don't do it this way or do it this, you know, different way. Um, I just don't do things the conventional way. This whole house build is completely non-conventional and uh, I think that's the beauty of it. That's why um, I'm off grid. I can do whatever I want. There's no building codes, no nothing. So uh, hopefully in the next video, you guys will see uh, that all done down there, um, up there, maybe even tile being put up, tile being put in down there. Uh, I will definitely do a water test at some point to make sure it all does good. I'll have to do the plumbing underneath. I mean, there's a lot coming. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you got something out of it. And if you didn't, I'm sorry I wasted, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes of your day watching this. But... It is what it is. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks everyone who has subscribed, hit the notification bell, all that cool stuff. Whew. Appreciate you guys. See you in the next.